Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony and welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be another logo rebranding slash logo concepts video. Hope you guys enjoy it and let's just get right into it. So starting off with the Atlanta Braves. Man, I really like this logo. It has a hidden meaning to it, uh, the hidden image on it, the ATL and the little hatchet there. But it's not obvious. I like when um logo branders do this because you know sometimes it's like let's just make a hidden uh, a logo and let's just hide so many hidden meanings into it and it's not really that much of a good logo anymore so i like that and it also kind of reminds me of you know one of those carpet baggers that just takes trips on from stadium to stadium no matter what you know just taking advantage in what they see so let's go on to uh, the san francisco giants this logo is good. It's kind of too similar to their um, own logo, so I decided to put my own spin on it. Um, so what you want what you want to do is just create this F right here, and um, yeah, we should be good to go. The next is the Washington Nationals. It's so easy. I can make fun of how they have a W in their logo, and they always choke and lose in the playoffs, but I'm not going to do that. So instead... I'm going to put some Nats. Okay, they're Beatles, but their nickname is Nats. And honestly, if I had to crop out a Nat, it would take me forever. So enjoy these Beatles for the time being. So the next is Cardinals. Now, what I noticed with this logo is that it's looking down on something. And I wonder what it is. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, so the next logo that we're going to look at is the Padres. Now, I'm, I'm just too lazy to look over this one. It's a pretty decent logo. But for time's sake, let's go on to the next one. Whoa, what do we have here? We have a winner. That's right, Phillies. You're my winner. This is my favorite looking logo. I really don't have anything to say about it. And the Pirates, um, before I go into that, what in Pittsburgh reminds you of Pirates? Like, how did they get that name? Somebody please let me know in the comment section down below because I'm too lazy to Google that. But anyway, so um, here, here, what we're going to do is uh, take their current logo and just add another P to it. Um, that pretty much exemplifies their whole organization. May Maybe put another extra detail in it. Yeah, I think that looks good. All right, so the next one up, it's the Mets. Their, their logo right now is currently my favorite logo. So um, any logo made would pretty much be an understep from uh, what it currently is. So um, what I decided is take Noah Syndergaard. And I couldn't fully crop his hair, so I just took off a random picture, clip art on the internet of some person's hair, and uh, put it on Mr. Met. Yeah, I think that looks good. He's looking good, and maybe they can finally win for once and not, uh, not keep on losing when they have really good pitching. Uh, the Brewers, uh, this logo has a, such a dumb hidden meaning behind it. I don't really like it, nor do I have a suggestion. I kind of like the... The logo that they have with the M and the B in the glove. I, I think they should stick to that one. Don't really see any need for rebranding. Now the Dodgers. We can make fun of the Dodgers. How they lost in the playoffs. And they haven't won in the past 31 years. But we're going to make fun on of their cap size. Yes, they spent above $200 million each year on players. And yet they cannot win. At least the Yankees when they do that. They actually win. Yeah, so let's go on to the next one. The Marlins. Um, nothing nothing to say about this logo. It looks pretty good, but it reminds me of something. Yeah, it reminds me of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy from Spongebob. Out to save the day. And with what Derek Jeter is doing, the aquarium that they have may not have that many fish in it. Because they got rid of Giancarlo Stanton and all those good players. So I don't know what he's doing. Hopefully it pays off. I mean, it worked out for the Yankees, I guess. We'll see. The Rockies. This is actually how I got the concept to do these rebrands. Um, it was like an inside joke, but the logo concept here is really good. I like this, how you can get the C and then the R and with the ball in the middle because their current logo right now is one of the worst in the league and one of the most outdated. So this is the one, this uh, rebrand that I created just as a joke. I think it's pretty funny. Let me know what you think. Now, uh, one of the last ones, the Cincinnati Reds. I like how they include um, little... Uh, little ball and their their mascot i like when teams include their mascot but you know he doesn't have a body so it's kind of weird so let's add a little body to him like that that's perfect and then we'll just add a little bat and look at him ready to hit the ball ready to hit his cousin right in the face uh the cubs the cubs this is actually a pretty good logo it has uh the bear hand and 
uh, it, it's really well designed, but maybe a little bit too complicated for, you know, the MLB. So I decided to remind everybody that the Cubs didn't win a World Series for 108 straight years. Yep, <laughs> a, a logo reminder for the Cubs ever indoctrinated. The Arizona Diamondbacks now... I was a little bit lazy because I have a time constraint. So I don't really like how they have that like weird neon color. I don't get it. Maybe it's a flashback from the past. But I like their current logo with a D and the B. I mean, there's nothing there's nothing to improve on. Arizona Diamondbacks have really good uh, logo. If only they can win something and not focus so much on their logos and their branding. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give a like rating. If you want to see more MOB logo concepts or just logo concept videos in general, let me know. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.